Okay, so we are live. We have a small hiccup, so bear with me. I will just share everything. Uh, the stupid thing. Um, okay, so let's check it out like that. Hi, everyone, by the way. Uh, wait, I will put some stuff um, on the table. So I will have an idea what and how okay I can see myself and I can hear myself I will just copy that um, okay guys so I will share it everywhere if I can And now I'm not sure. Yeah, of course I put stamping clearly instead of scrapping clearly. Oh my God. Um, I will try to change it in one second. Okay. Uh, hi, Jason. Oh my God. I, uh, I, I think that I get something like totally wrong. Just give me one second because uh, I'm trying to um, put the stream live on scrapping clearly feed because YouTube is an a-hole. <laughs> um, we checked everything yesterday and uh, everything looked good. Like I can make a stream on Stamping Clearly um, channel. But now it's said that I can't because there is not enough subscribers. Like you can make a live stream over 1000 subscribers and uh oh my god i have no idea how to do it okay i will leave it maybe kylie will not kill me i already messed up the title that probably i cannot change right now yeah of course that i can't okay it's such a good start of the thing Okay, we will still, we still have a few minutes for other people to join in. Just give me one second. I will open that on my uh, tablet so I can read your comments, actually. Uh, if it will not work out, then we will just... Um, I will just open it on my computer. Oh my god. It already... <laughs> I thought that everything will be so nice. Everything will be so nice. Thank um, you. Okay, anyway. We can do it. Hi, Belinda. Hello, everyone. Hi, Cecilia. And hi... Um, Oh my god um i'm trying to make jason my admin <laughs> uh, because it's an open stream and weird stuff can happen you know like weird people like to come to streams and say not the nicest things um but uh yeah, just give me one second. Oh my God, it's a bad start. Um, and I don't know how to type my name, perfect. Ah, okay. 
Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so as uh, I knew Jason and Belinda, I gave you an admin stuff in case that somebody will come here and start to talk, you know, weird stuff, you can just uh, block them out and I will deal with it later on. Uh, hello everyone! Okay, so I'm here. <laughs> I'm here and we can uh, go on. Uh, we will make a mixed media project. And I have here a lot of goodies. They are all available in uh, Scrapping Clearly shop. Probably I will list them down below in the description box when the stream will be over. So uh, we have some gloss gel from Liquitex and I love this stuff. We have some clear gesso also from Liquitex and I have um, heavy body acrylic. Um, yeah, I was looking for your name, Tina, because uh, I know your nickname um and i know your surname and i didn't want to um uh, yeah uh, to put your surname here so yeah hi tina it's so nice to see you here i know we met i remember you you were <laughs> you are the, the the one student that was escorted from mount gambia with the ambulance <laughs> i will never forget you <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm just taking off all the stuff. I didn't print out a uh, scrapping clearly mood board, but we have really nice mood board. Maybe I can uh, somehow pass the link in the comment section. But uh, no, okay, I can't. Sorry, I can't. I I just don't know how to use this stuff. But basically, our color palette are really nice colors. We have a uh, blues and uh, orange a salmon and a uh, nice deep um, peacock uh, shade. Yeah, hi everyone. Hello everyone who are uh, joining here. So, okay, I will walk really quickly through the products that we are planning to use so i have a uh, art alchemy uh, sparks paint in the shade dragon's eye and it's beautiful shade i will show you some elements later on that i already painted with this one i have liquitex inks and i chose the ones from my stash that were matching more or less the palette. This one says it's turquoise deep. I never tried it. I hope that it will fit my color scheme because uh, my plan is to do something steampunky. Um, hi Donna! So nice to see you! Um, yeah, so uh, what I was saying, oh yeah, that I want to make something in the colors of this month palette uh, and i want it to be steampunky so a lot of promises here okay let's let, let's just move this stuff a little bit okay and you can see my tablet it's nothing wrong on that but still i can uh, i love that we almost don't have a delay because with facebook it's almost two minutes of delay so it's hard to catch up with the comments and everything okay anyway i'm so happy to see you all and here we have our base that will be team holds etc tag uh, i'm not sure if they are available still but i'm sure that they were and if they are not they will be for the next stream because yeah, the best part is that I'm uh, guesting in uh, uh, stamping clearly this month and we will meet each Wednesday around the same time just, you know, to have some fun 
Okay, it's a little bit too dark for my liking, so we will just add, sorry for having really disgusting cloth, but I was playing with jelly plate yesterday, so I will just add a little bit of white gesso, so you can replace it really easily for that purpose with white paint. I just want quite light base on my tag because later on I'm planning to do some stamping and stamping with stencils and we will put some Tim Holtz tissue paper on top of that so a little bit of water yeah okay so we are going a little bit faster because I have a delay. I I was planning to start start up like five minutes earlier, and then the YouTube issue just popped out, and I don't think it's fair that they uh, want you to have like one thousand subscribers to be able to stream from your phone, because I can stream from the um, you know the outside device like the camera that you can connect to your computer but my camera have a really really uh, not great resolution at all that means uh, you would not see as well as now so yeah for next week we'll figure it out something maybe you will convince 1000 people to subscribe to the channel <laughs> so it would be much easier for me that would be great. <laughs> okay, so now I'm grabbing this one. It's Tim Holtz tissue paper. I have no idea what's the name. I'm sure that it's still available in the store. Yeah, it's postal. And it has, you know, like maps and stuff like that. And actually here I have really busy piece. And I don't want such a easy pattern I want something a little bit less busy so we will take this uh, this part with the lettering and I know that my surface is not dry you know in the perfect world the paint would be dry it's dry ish and the paint was really thick I really like the paint yeah okay perfect so we are grabbing the Liquitex Tall Medium and I love this stuff. I know that it's a little bit on the pricey side. That doesn't make me happy, you know. I like everything that I really, really like is mostly on the price side, but it's so nice. Like the paint is a little bit more expensive, but it's so thick and nice. It will last you like forever. Okay. You can use also collage medium or clear gesso to stick them. And we will add some here. Okay, I will deal with the uh, one that's stuck in in the tag hole later on. Yes, so basically, okay, uh, while I'm sticking the tissue paper onto my project, you can think, oh look, I found a Aussie, <laughs> Aussie stamp on my tissue paper, how accurate. <laughs> Okay, I love those tissue papers. You know, they work like stamping for dummies. I'm not the greatest stamper ever. I, I can, I will be honest. I would say that uh, I'm quite, quite not good at all uh, in stamping, but when I need something to uh, be stamped precise, I usually stamp it on the tissue paper and then I stick it on because it will look like I stamp it on. I'm adding a little bit of uh, clear gesso. It will give me nice grip. If you don't have it, you can replace it with uh, um, with gel medium. Oh my God, I lost, <laughs> I lost the chat completely. Uh, 
Yeah, it's scrapping clearly. I have no idea what's wrong with me. Oh my God, so sorry. I know that name is incorrect in the name of the stream. I will fix it after we finish. I will change it because I tried to do it right now. You know, I was quite stressed because like I told you, five minutes before we uh, I agreed with Kylie that we will start a little bit earlier and then to bam tells me one big F you like you will not stream because there is a YouTube stupid rule and rules are stupid okay I could rip it but it's quite wet still and I'm afraid that I will destroy it so I will just trim it around the edges. It would be easier to use the crafty knife, but we have a non-stick craft sheet on the table and she doesn't like to be cut with knife. So for today, we are following the, um, the color palette. It's really nice. Actually, those are all my favorite colors. So it should go really well and come on just a little bit I want nice smooth tag I could do it just up the edge okay yes yeah, so the YouTube issue just totally uh, threw me off the rail and in the panic um, I mistype it. I don't know why stamping, not scrapping, but it's scrapping clearly and it's a really cool shop in Gandigai, Australia. And yeah, we will talk uh, a little bit more about a later run. And um, yeah, where is my heat gun? Okay, I have my heat tool. Sorry for the sound everyone prepare yourselves okay it's dryish and i see that i didn't stuck it i didn't do the best job with the stocking it here okay perfect and that will be our first liar layer layer <laughs> layer not liar uh, my english is everything is not present because i'm already stressed because we started you know we had really bad starts so i'm a little bit nervous about it and i'm thinking how many things can go wrong uh, okay so i have some stencils and i'm sure that they are available in this version or in the tiny version in the shop this one for sure and this one i would love to use here and uh, i will go bold i will go with orange with the stencil and we will use the stress paint. And the color is spiced marmalade. And I feel that it will match perfectly the color palette that we are using. Okay, I'm applying a lot of paint on my stencil if you don't want to waste your paint you can put a piece of paper underneath and uh, then you will get an impression of the uh, stencil you know like like the the numbers on your page but I want to use whole stencil to build up some interest into my background and now yeah let's do it on this side I always go for the other side so this time we will go for this one and yeah 
I will just press it okay a little bit here and now a little bit more here and where is my brayer yeah my brayer is here I was brayering a lot yesterday so I'm also doing the uh, the jelly plate challenge so September will be super busy for me every Wednesday I want to do um, a live stream uh, for uh, scrapping clearly and we will meet every Wednesday hopefully uh, it's a kind of cool time for me because for me it's uh, 12 it's midday and for you it's evening because usually I stream on my evenings that are your 3 a.m. Uh, and uh, yeah Jason is motivated enough to wake up at 3 a.m. to watch me doing stuff but I don't think that a lot of people are so committed to <laughs> watching live streams so I have here I have the wasp um, from some kind of reason and I have some elements uh, I did a little bit of prep earlier on I used ah, this one this mold from Finbar actually mine is borrowed from Belinda thank you um, and we have those awesome wings and they were white because I ran them uh, with the resin and then I covered them with two layers of sparks paint I did it off camera because uh, the paint is a little bit translucent it's a pure shine not necessarily a ton of pigment uh, and that makes oh my god something is buzzing here <laughs> uh, yeah so I had to apply two layers so I prepared some elements that are mold prints and I painted uh, Finbar stars as well uh, to you know fit my project uh, and they are nice and gold and that's how the dragon's eye shade looks like it's a really super sparkly gold beautiful deep gold shade love the paint love the paint i love it it's so shiny it's so super metallic beautiful 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 thing okay so the plan is that we will build up whole thing based on that that will be our main composition some gears will go underneath like always and we will use also a piece of cheesecloth but we have the um, colors to follow wait I will just check them on my yeah so I want to introduce a little bit of blue and for that I have a beautiful stamp uh, it's a stamp by uh, Birgit Copson and Birgit was teaching and uh, scrapping clearly not so long ago um, and I was really excited. Jason sent me uh, all the pictures and I heard that it was a lot of fun uh, and I'm sure it was uh, and her stamps are lovely and I'm sure that they are available right now because I checked it yesterday so if nobody bought it since yesterday then it's available and we have here uh, some you know uh, there is a sentiment there are numbers and I love this stamp it's so doesn't matter what your style is it will fit because it's a little bit abstract and I'm uh, stamping it from that uh, from hand without a credit block so there are heat chances that something will go wrong but it didn't oh my god thanks god <laughs> okay oh I didn't drink it uh, repaint it I hope it will still yeah it's still good now we will wipe it off and use the other color okay you know I'm just building that background 
having fun and I love distress paints. I just discovered uh, them not so long ago. I know that they are on the market for um, for really, really, really long time, but I never was tempted to use them and then I tried, I believe my first color was watered wood. And I fell in love. Now I don't know how I lived without them. Okay, my nasty cloth. I was sure that I prepared nice and clean cloth as well, but I didn't. So sorry for that. And I will try to use a skirted straw. Or maybe brushed candery. No, skirted straw. And this time, maybe let's go for this part of the stamp. And they are so convenient to use. I love those uh, those paints, and I love Liquidex inks. I was so happy that we will play with them today. Okay. So we're building those layers. Go here. And I really like how it looks. Uh, I mean, I, you can't see very well the impression of uh, this carotid straw, but it adds this little something to my project and it breaks the colors. Okay. I will show you on close up. See, the impression is there and it's a good impression. And you can still see all my, um, all my layers, all the things that I did. I will just clean this stamp really quickly. Usually I don't clean my stamps, but I clean them from the paint. Okay. Okay. And I think that for now I have enough of distress paints. I will just put them aside. Okay. I have also Tim Holtz distress uh, stain in tarnished dress. And I want to have splatters. Splatters. It will be different shade than uh, uh, than uh, Finbar's one, and uh, I'm sure that if you hit your artwork really hard with uh, with the stain and squeeze it a little bit, it should give you some splashes. But maybe wait first. I will wait until it's dry a little bit, and I will start to build my. Um, composition. I also have a piece of cheesecloth in case that I need some fluff um, in the background. And where are my cheap board pieces? I have the pieces of regular cardboard just to build. Oh yeah, here it is. Oops, something for. So I will grab it's uh, like backing uh it, you know from the paper pad it's the back side of the paper pad and we will use it to build our elements on it so they will be nice and uh raised and i will put them here on the center of my tag and we will go from there because actually my plan was that I want to use those wings and I want to use the colors and that was all and uh, the rest uh, we will wing it. <laughs> if you have any suggestions you can put them in the chit chat. <sighs> okay I can sit and I can relax. We are all good duties here. We are just sitting and crafting. I hope that you've crafted along and I can post the list of products for the next meeting and I'm not sure if we will do it on YouTube. We'll see. Either we will do it on YouTube and of course I will download the stream and I will re-upload it on uh, 
Clapping Clearly channel so everyone can have an access to it. And um, yeah, either we will do it here on YouTube or we will figure it out how to because I'm sure that if I would be smart enough, I could do it, but I have no idea how to do it because um, I have enough subscribers to stream live from the phone. Obviously, you are all here. And I thought that maybe I can start up the stream and then switch channels, but it didn't work like that. But I'm sure that somehow... Um, Somehow it would be possible because I saw people do it. I'm just not uh, smart enough with the computers to do it. But if you know the way, if anyone on the stream on or on a replay knows the way to how to do it, how to go around it, please, please, please let me know because I would love to. I would love to know. And I like how it looks already. I know that it's leaking a little bit of contrast, but we will do some wash with the Liquitex inks and that will bring the contrast and a little bit of darkness uh, to our project. And I think that here it will look pretty nice. So I can just put it here. And I like how the gel is holding everything together. And it's not even the heavy body one, I think. No, it's just regular draw medium. And, you know, it's holding the elements really well. Okay, so that will be our main cacao pound. And now we can go through my different elements to find all the things that we could use here. Because for the steampunk theme, I have torn off different elements and they are mixed together. We have team holds, we have uh, thin bar mechanicals, and I also have those uh, prints from the mold. So we will just mix and match them to make sure everything looks nice. I think that this one will be fine here, but I need to go higher with my company. Sorry. I have a hiccup. Great. <laughs> uh, I have to raise it a little bit higher. That's when using draw medium comes quite handy because we can just lift it up and add one more. Okay, let's see if I can fit it right now under the wing. Yeah, I can. So that would be great. Okay. First, I will just place them. Now it's the same like here. So let's go with it here. Maybe the star can be here. No, it will be too much. How about star here? Oh, I like it. I like the star over here. I really do. Okay, so I will stick her here. Okay, and mine is also mold print, but you can use uh, the um, the one from Mechanical Series. It's exactly the same one, exactly the same size, and I would paint it anyway, so yeah. Okay, and this one here. Okay, this one here and this one here. How about that? Does it look good? Yeah, it looks good enough. <laughs> uh, so, sorry, I can't uh, put elements precisely on place and talk at the same time. It's like I have too many tabs open in my head. And I just get blocked. Especially that, uh, you know, I didn't plan it um, good enough, apparently. I mean, I had a plan, but 
it was a loose plan you know I like to uh, be a little bit spontaneous yeah the unicorn uh, no it's not unicorn oh my god oh my god oh my god unicorn unicorn Oh. Yeah, so I will change up the uh, the name um, later on, and the paint is Dragon's Eye. Um, or I get something wrong from the chat. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> Again, too many tabs open. Okay. Okay, maybe Kaylee will be forgiving for that. That I made a little boo boo with the name. Okay, so now we will add a few. I think those are from Tim Holtz. This one was, yeah. I should sort them out because <laughs> I have a lot of gears here. And some of them are from different Prima and Ranger sets. Some of them are. Okay. And I'm not adding any more gel medium because I have a lot of gel medium here underneath. Um, here we need a little bit. But I don't want to have too many blobs because, yeah, that will dry transparent and you will not see that. But right now, for the live purpose, I would love to have them, uh, to have gel medium not visible so much. Okay, let's build it up. And this gel medium, because I already played with it. I mean, I, I have it for some time, but I still had another one that I want to use up before I will move to the next one, because otherwise the, the previous one will dry and it would be waste. But I already played with this one and it's so nice. You can put quite heavy elements and it will hold up nicely okay perfect and this one can go here yay okay and I don't need fluff I think that I don't need any fluff at all I would love to add one more thing something that would be I like to have a sentiment or yeah I think that this one will be nice but I need something underneath so make to make it a little bit 3d so let's use this one okay and we will have to try it a little bit to go with our inks and I still want to test the stain splatters. splatters. I should test them before, but I didn't. So we'll do it together. Okay, so I will move it a little bit aside. Or maybe not. Oh, we will still use inks, so I can't remove the... Uh, sticky mat. I need a piece of paper or something like that to check if that will work with the stain. Because I'm sure that it should work. No, it leaves me just uh, a round thing. So I will just use it differently. I squeezed a little bit. I knew that something was wrong. Maybe I do something incorrectly. Because I saw people just smush it against the artwork and it gave a nice smoosh. So to make that smoosh, 
little to use this one. I will just pick it up and just smoosh it here and there to have a little bit of the metallic effect. I will add uh, later on those uh, liquid X inks and because uh, stain will be uh, you know activated with water each time then it will mix a little bit with my inks and it will add a nice gold shine everywhere okay let's dry it up I have to use my um, loud heat tool I will try to cover the mic sorry for that What is delicious? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I see that Kylie's. Yeah, maybe it's the thing. You know, uh, uh, I don't have too much experience with this for stains because uh, for me it wasn't uh, my favorite. I bought just metallics. I always start with metallics. <laughs> Can you say? Could you tell that I like metallic? Look, I also have a little bit of thirty knots uh, shiny powder in the shade uh, red wine, wine red. Um, yeah, uh, red wine satin, something like that. Uh, I'm sure that it's something about red wine. I remember that it was red wine, but if it's satin or not satin, anyway, it's a nice metallic shade, and I will be tempted to use it later on. It's nice reddish. Or, reddish copper thing yeah but i'm not sure if that will fit to my general idea okay it's dry ish it's not dry at all and i would love to use those inks to add a little oomph so they are basically acrylic inks beautiful and pigmented and you can use them like you would use uh, acrylic paint or you can use them like you would use uh, watercolor and I like to use them like I would use watercolor I, I like to take advantage on their um, transparency and that they flow so beautifully and uh, the shades that I have here it's a uh, Yellow orange, uh, transparent raw amber. Uh, I hope that that's how you read the name of the color. I will show you in one one second. And I have to squeeze deep. And those inks are super long lasting because they are super pigmented and they will last you like forever and ever, ever, ever. And you can see that before they, they dry, they can behave like watercolor. I can easily spread them out. I need a piece of uh, 
baby wipe because it's a little bit too much a little bit too much and a little bit too yellowish but i don't mind because i will dull it down with the raw i think it's raw umber amber no amber is a stone so i definitely um read it incorrectly and it's a nice brown shade it's semi-transparent if you put a lot you can build it up to full opacity without any issues the same thing is i hope i think with their metallic shades um i must place my metallics because i keep them separately with my favorites and apparently my favorites are everywhere right now I have been doing a lot of weird stuff in the background and September will be quite busy month anyway for me so a lot of things can get misplaced okay and I'm just spreading it when it's wet you can uh, you know remove it you can spread it but when it's dry, it will stay like that. And you can see how nice it will increase, in, increase um, all my elements. And I love this technique uh, when you apply a lot of um, darker pro uh, product, uh, a dark shade, usually brown or um, black sometimes white uh, and then you overspray it with water it's called the wash and i just love to use this technique a little bit more and each time when uh, i'm touching my surface in um, some area i'm adding just one drop because if you add too much it will be too dark and too weird and okay a little bit here and there i want to increase all those nice curvaces and all the nuts and crannies that we have here in those uh, mold prints because they have really a ton of details that i kind of lost because i paint them um, all with a um, thick layer of this dragon uh, i i mean i apply a few thin coats make sure that I have good coverage and I don't lose the details but still it was kind of a lot a lot okay like that like that yeah a little bit here and there and let's just add a little bit of water you know basically my whole artwork is soaking wet but i don't mind okay it's a drying time again sorry guys want some areas to be a little bit darker and we will grab a dry-ish brush do we have a dry brush at all yeah i found one i have ton of brushes on my desk and only one is dry okay and again just to add shading and just to increase all the Nugs and crannies. I have no idea why they called nugs and crannies in English. But 
But funny thing, uh, for a really long time I was convinced that it's something with grannies, like grandmothers, so yeah. Okay, some splatters, because I like the messier look. Okay. Now, I don't want to go over the board, so I will just use it from here. I have to be kind of careful because we don't want to add any more water because it's already barely holding up together. It needs nice drying time and I don't want to um, dry it too much with heat gun because it's really loud. And I don't want you to suffer. Okay, I still have the um, the turquoise shade that I didn't use, but we can leave it for the next time. Okay. Because I really, really like this one and I don't want to destroy it too much. Okay, he was a little too much. I like how uh, the um, the inks will increase uh, the paint texture that we have underneath. You can barely see the stencil that I did at the beginning, but I, I don't mind at all. Okay, a little bit of dirt on the edge because it's definitely too white in this area and too dark in this one okay we'll take the cheesecloth and just remove it a little bit before they dry you can really really spread them you can use them a little bit like you would use ink okay here we have the tag hole wait i will just put my brush through it so yeah we can see it and i would fix this one here uh, i don't have gel medium yet i have a little bit here so i will just use it with my finger Okay, we will add string later on because tag needs string and yeah, a little bit more of those dots. I would add more, but because it's uh, so wet, they have tendency to spread like watercolor, not hold in the nice round paddles like acrylics. So it might be that I will add few of those later on okay i will do the last drying right now because we will go back to the dragon's eye and bring back the gold later on and that will be our last step okay so i will cover the mic so uh hopefully um it will help
okay so now everything is like super shiny because this tree stain spread around uh, and I was thinking that I still have this water lit wood this tress paint and I will take my dry-ish brush that it's not dry-ish anymore where is the nasty cloth yeah here it is take it flying okay so this shade should add a little bit of nice patina look here and there and it will mix up a little bit with brown still with just small touches here and there just to break the metallicness a little bit and we can always bring back the metallic look you know you can always take this dragon eye, the sparks paint on your finger and just uh, use it like you would use the wax you know uh, gently just add some touches of that okay I know that right now it looks like it didn't do much I love this uh, kind of this style of working when I go back and forward with um, patinas, browns, and you know, you can always go back with the gold. And if you don't like, if you hate your project at the end, you can, you can always spray paint it black or white and turn it into something totally else. Um, okay, this is the wet cloth and it's nasty, I know, I just want to pick up a little bit of the paint. A little bit here, because I would love to have a little bit lighter accent here. And you can see that this gray is mixing really nice with the uh, with brown. I pick my colors really wisely because they don't make mud except with orange with blue mixed together. So I was sure that everything will look nice. Okay. A little bit here and a little bit there okay so now we can just go over the high points and i need a little bit of brown again because i lost all my brown here on this area like i said back and forward back and forward <laughs> okay yep I think that, of course, some splatters will be needed, and more or less, we will call it done. You can work on pieces like that, going back and forward all day long. But I think that we could say that this one will be done. Okay, mm, a little bit too patterny here. I like when my splatters look a little bit more accidental. Okay, yeah. Okay, I will show you this one close up. Oh, and I will show you what you can do with the sparks still. So again, it's a sparks and the shade is dragon eye and it's nice yellowish gold and you can just add some touches with your finger 
just a little bit I don't put any pressure at all because I just want don't want to have too much product on my finger as well because then you know you will just make a gold mark and I just want those little touches because this paint have such an amazing you know the name is really accurate because it have so much spark to it that it can add those nice goldy shade uh, goldy reflex to all the areas that you want okay a little bit here it's already started to dry okay can you see that yeah you can see the gold touches that I add they stand out really well okay yep so that would be it um, all the products uh, or most of them maybe not the tag but uh, most of the products uh, for sure all the mixed media products you can find in scrapping clearly and yeah that would be it we see each other next week i hope <laughs> uh, please subscribe to uh, scrapping clearly channel i will link everything down below i mean we will end up the live transmission and i will edit the description so all the links will be there including all the products that i use so in case that you want to recreate this one uh you you can uh if you have any more questions it's a good uh, moment to ask them because i'm just sitting and looking at my screen sorry for being a little bit messy today but seriously this issue at the beginning it totally uh, knocked me off the rail you know i was pissed that we cannot do it like we planned and we put Mm, a lot of planning into that because we agreed on everything and we planned the project the, the materials everything was really planned ahead and everything should go smooth i like to have things planned and i like when they are uh, going really nice and uh, and uh, smooth and i hate when things like today happens and i'm blaming youtube for that because they are a-holes with this stupid rule breaking the law breaking the law okay so uh thank you everyone and thank you uh, scrapping clearly for having me and sorry for misspelling the name of the shop I was really, um, you know, stressed out. Uh, I will bring you up close again. I could show you my face maybe if I knew how to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can. So, yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me. And this is the project. And thank you again, everyone. And uh, should I? Oh, yeah, I should <laughs> rotate the device. <laughs> thank you very much. And um, yeah, I hope to see you next week. And I don't know how to finish this one. Yeah, okay. Bye.